the University of Iowa is assisting NASA on their Radiation Belt Storm Probes mission. NASA is sending two probes into Earth's orbit to gather data from the Van Allen belts, which are radiation belts surrounding the planet. The belts are important to scientists, but they're important to everyone else because they can disrupt communications. The Van Allen belts are radiation around the Earth, and when we say radiation, what we mean are charged particles that are very energetic, and they make uh, donuts. There's two main donuts. There's what we call the inner belt and the outer belt, and the inner belt, the most energetic component that people are most interested in are, are energetic protons, and the outer belt is uh, energetic electrons, and both of those can affect these kinds of systems. The radiation belts were made famous by Iowa's own Dr. James Van Allen, who discovered them in 1958. The radiation belts, when they were discovered, was a huge deal. At that point, people hadn't really thought about space, and so suddenly came this, this idea that, oh wait, there's charged particles, and that has significant effects on things. It was so big that, like I say, Van Allen became man of the year in this discovery. It really kind of changed people's view of how, how space was. Engineers and physicists designed and built parts of the satellites on campus in collaboration with University of Iowa professor Don Gurnett's research team. The probes will have slightly different orbits in an effort to collect information from different parts of the belts. This is the most complete set of instruments that have ever been flown in the radiation belts. They're modern instruments. They have the best quality we can have. It's really quite exciting. For the first time, two spacecraft, great instruments. We're going to really get some wonderful science. Once the probes were assembled and sent to NASA, they were tested to ensure everything was in working order. The instrument uh, was, was powered on and the data was, was actually flowing back here to the University of Iowa. The full spacecraft was powered up and they actually had the thruster systems powered up. And they were looking for interference. They were looking to see that all the systems played together, that they could all be on and active and wouldn't interfere with each other because you want to find that out before launch. Once in orbit, the spacecraft will spend two years gathering information about the radiation belts and how they relate to space weather, which affects almost all communication here on Earth. By understanding the radiation belts, we can tell satellite builders, you need to make sure that you protect all of the electronics on that satellite well enough that they can withstand this bad solar storm that could disturb them. And so that ensures that telecommunications continue. So that means that the telephone call that you might make to your friend in Europe works. That means that television broadcasts continue without any problem. GPS satellites work. And those are all kinds of things that we've come to take for granted. In a really big uh, geomagnetic storm that makes the radiation belts quite large, it can interrupt those kinds of things. There have been occasions when the radiation belt, the inner belt in particular, has gotten pumped up enough that they've actually told the astronauts to go into the most protected part of the space station. But particularly if you're doing things like trying to go to the moon, I mean the moon is outside the radiation belts, on the surface we're inside, so you sort of have no choice but to go through them. You'd like to be able to say, okay, now's a good time to launch versus another time, or if something's happening, to be able to warn astronauts to do what they can to protect themselves. And the University of Iowa continues its proud tradition of space exploration and research, from the Van Allen space belts to infinity and beyond.